kids. I hope you're having a great day, a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let's worship together. Trying to find it Find the wild for this rebel heart I've been coming up empty Can't find an ending if I had no start I finally found the answer to my purpose It turns out you were closer than I ever thought And now I'm gonna live my life on purpose the Today we're starting a new series called Game Plan. It's all about learning God's plan for your life. And today we're going to learn that Jesus has good plans for you. Some of you might think, who me? I don't think so. There's no way that God has good plans for me. Well, today we're going to find out why you can truly believe that Jesus has good plans for you. To find out more about that, let's watch this awesome video. Oh, hey there. Name's Todd. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Figured you were. Last week we had varsity basketball tryouts and it didn't go very well. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't make the team. I'm not very good. So I decided to invest in a personal trainer and I went to Trainers R Us, but they were too expensive. So then I went to Craigslist, like literally my friend Craig who had a list of people that he recommended. 
So now I'm waiting on my friend Craig's mom's cousin's brother's dog's trainer or something. Yep, that be me. My name's Tony. Tony the trainer. Sorry I was late. I was teaching Charlie how to roll over. Is Charlie a toddler? Does he not know how to roll over? Nah, Charlie's a cocker spaniel. <laughs> what? You're literally a dog trainer? How are you gonna teach me how to play basketball? Hey, you listen here. I have happened to have trained one of the most phenomenal basketball players of all time. Oh yeah? Who? You ever heard of Air Bud? Are you kidding me? You mean a dog that was in a movie about playing basketball? That wasn't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's as real as the hair on my toenails, okay? Now, are you ready to learn some lessons or what? I mean, if you think you can teach me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not the one that didn't make the team and had to hire a trainer. It wasn't my fault I didn't make the team. I tried to find my good luck charm and bring it to the tryouts, but I couldn't find it. What was your good luck charm? My lucky parrot. Your lucky parrot? Yeah, his name's Petey. Okay, well, Petey ain't here, so forget about it. All right, so what am I going to be learning today? I'm glad that you asked. I thought of some plays that I would like you to learn. Cool, what are they? Okay, the first play is called the turnip trick. First you go over here and you find yourself a moose. Doesn't have to be a big moose, but just a little moose, okay? You get on the moose's back. And you're gonna grab him by the antlers and put the ball right there. What in the world are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I see how it is. You're not gonna be able to follow my game plan. Come with me. So what exactly are we doing here? It's simple, shortstop. I'm here to teach you how to do an alley-oop. What? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You don't have to be in an alley to do an alley-oop. Oops. All this is ridiculous. Well, then let me teach you the pick and roll. Finally, something I can understand. Okay, so the pick and roll is when you distract the other player by picking the nose, and then you roll away with the ball and shoot it in the basket. Are you kidding me? This is getting way out of hand. You claim to be teaching me a new game plan, but none of this is making any sense. It's like that sometimes. Like what? Well, sometimes the game plan we think we should have is different than the game plan that God has for us. And not just in basketball, but also in life. Uh, I'm confused. Look, you think you know what you're doing with your life? You think you need to follow your game plan? No, 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 forget about it. You need to follow God's game plan. You need to follow what he wants for your life. Yeah, I see what you mean. Good, now the kids today are gonna learn about a pretty awesome promise that God makes to each of us. God's got good plans for your life. It's time for you to dive into God's game plan and learn all about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Hey, did you know that Michael Jordan was afraid of muskrats? It's true, God really does have good plans for you no matter who you are or what you've done. No matter how bad you think you are, Jesus still loves you and cares about you. You're gonna find out more about this in your lesson today, but before we get too far, we need to find out what you gotta know. You know I gotta tell you what you gotta know. Tell you what you gotta know. You know I gotta tell you what you gotta know. Hey kids, it's me, Callie from the Valley, and I'm like here to tell you like what you gotta know. I'm like so excited to start a brand new series called Game Plan. Today, we're like talking about how God has like totally cool plans for us. So every time today somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. I will follow God's amazing plan. People are always like, Callie, what are your plans? What are you gonna do with your life? Like, where's Waldo? I'm like, first of all, Waldo's hat is like so last year. A grody. Second of all, I don't know what my plans are. I'm not like good enough to do totally awesome things with my life. But then God, he's like, girl, yes you are. Follow me and everything will change. It's like, Okay, God, you're right. No matter what I've done, if I follow you, you have an awesome plan for my life because you, like, care about me. So every time today somebody asks you what you got to know, you tell them. I will follow God's amazing plan. 
And that is what you gotta know. I'm Callie from the Valley saying TTYL. I told you I would TTYL. What you gotta know? Today's Bible story is found in the book of Luke chapter 9. It's a story about a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, which means that he took everyone's money, or he took some of everyone's money, and he gave it to the Roman government. People didn't like Zacchaeus very much because he was known to be very dishonest. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was nearby teaching. He wanted to get a good look at this man that he had heard about. He had heard all about Jesus and, and how Jesus heals and loves and tells people about God. When he arrived, he saw a crowd surrounding Jesus. But Zacchaeus had a little problem. He was very short. He couldn't see Jesus over all the tall people. So Zacchaeus had an idea. He found a tree that was nearby and he began to climb so that he could get a better view of Jesus which is a pretty smart idea, right? Do you guys like climbing trees? When I was a kid, I climbed trees all the time. Um, well, while he was in this tree, Jesus saw him. Jesus called him by name. He said, Zacchaeus, come down from there. I must come to your house as a guest today. The religious people who were there couldn't believe that Jesus would actually go to Zacchaeus's house. They didn't like Zacchaeus at all because he was a tax collector. They saw Jesus at Zacchaeus' house and said, how could Jesus possibly hang out with that man? He's a big sinner. Jesus was not impressed with the religious people. They were supposed to be the ones sharing the love of God, yet they were treating Zacchaeus as if he didn't even matter. Jesus said, I have come to save lost people like Zacchaeus. He was teaching the religious people that if they really wanted to do God's will, they would show love to people like Zacchaeus instead of ignoring them and treating them like they didn't even matter. In your lesson today, you're going to learn that no matter who you are and no matter what you've done, Jesus loves and cares about you and he has a plan for you. <laughs>
I'll see you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye. When night has fallen, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost in, my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not good enough, God, you're enough for me. Yeah, I've decided I'm not giving up. Cause you won't give up on me. You won't give up on me. Your love is holding on and it won't let go. I feel it breaking out like an echo. Your love is holding on and it won't let go. Nah. I feel it breaking out like an echo. Echo in my soul. Oh, oh, oh. So, oh, oh. In every season, you keep repeating promises to me. Today we're talking all about God's game plan. God has good plans for your life. Now you might be thinking, I don't know about that. Doesn't Jesus know all the things that I've done? Doesn't he know how bad I've sinned? Doesn't he know that I'm really not that great? I don't deserve good plans. Maybe you feel like Zacchaeus from our Bible story. Remember, he was an outcast. No one liked him. He was a very bad person and people avoided him and stayed away from him because of the things that he did. He was a tax collector and a crooked one at that. He was always ripping people off and doing them wrong. And after all of that, the people decided that they didn't want anything to do with him. No one wanted to be around him. No one cared about Zacchaeus. I bet he was very lonely. Have you ever felt this way before? Like no one cared about you? Maybe you found yourself saying something like, it's not fair. Nobody even loves me. I'm a loser. I'm not special. Well, today we're going to learn the lesson that Zacchaeus learned. Jesus cares when nobody else will. Remember, Zacchaeus was a loser. 
Nobody cared about him. He felt all alone and decided it was time to do something about it. He heard Jesus was different than everyone else and he thought he'd check him out when he came into town. Sadly, Zacchaeus was even treated like a loser when he went to see Jesus entering the town. He was shorter than everyone and couldn't see, but no one really cared. He really wanted to see Jesus though, so he ended up climbing a tree. It must have been tough for Zacchaeus. It must have been tough to be Zacchaeus. But you remember what happened next in the Bible story? Jesus walked through the crowd, right past everyone else, and went to, up to Zacchaeus in that tree. Jesus noticed him. Jesus cared about him. And Jesus cares about you. It doesn't matter what everyone else might think about you. Jesus cares and Jesus loves you. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a second. What about all the things that I've done? I've done a lot of bad stuff and I've sinned a lot. There's no way Jesus still loves me and cares about me. But it's important that you never forget, no matter how bad you are, Jesus has a plan for you. Don't forget, Zacchaeus was a big time sinner. He ripped people off for their money. Zacchaeus was so bad that his whole city didn't want to have anything to do with him. They didn't want to go near him. He was bad news. Maybe you feel like Zacchaeus. Maybe you filled your life with bad habits and sins. Maybe you've cheated or lied. Maybe you've hurt others, said mean and hurtful things to them. Maybe you've really messed up and there's no way you can come back from your sinful life now. You feel like you've gone way too far and you're too bad. Guys, it's important that you never forget what Jesus did on the cross for you. It's important to remember that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, for the bad things that you've done. He died for all of those sins that we just mentioned. When he did that, he forgave you of your sins. Jesus wants you to be free from your sin, free from all the bad things that you've done. Jesus wants you to follow his plan for your life. And here's the great news. When you follow his plan, everything changes. That's right, everything, everything changes. When you choose to live for Jesus and follow his plan for your life, everything changes. Your whole life, you become brand new. All of the sin and the bad things that you've want, you once did are no longer a part of your life. You get a fresh start, a do-over. Remember what happened to Zacchaeus. When Jesus saw him and showed him how much he cared, Zacchaeus decided to change his whole life and started to do what was right. He was a great example of how when you follow God's plan, everything changes. Even though Zacchaeus was bad and no one cared about him, Jesus did. And Jesus had good plans for even Zacchaeus' life. It's the same for you, no matter who you are or what you've done. Jesus cares about you and he has good plans for your life. So I want you to bow your head and close your eyes and let's pray together. God, I pray for the, the children who've been living in sin or even the adults that may be listening who've been living in sin and they feel like no one loves them or cares about them. They don't feel special. God, I pray that they would remember that no matter what, Jesus has a plan for their life. I pray that they would choose to follow God's game plan and see everything in their life change for good and know that they are special and they are loved. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this message hit you today and, and ministered to you and ministered to me while I was teaching it. Um, you are loved. You are special. And don't ever think anything different. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at 1030. If not, that's totally okay. We'll see you right here next Saturday at noon.